Hi, this might be new to some of you, but Sweden is terrified of Russia. Putin's almost being painted out as the new Hitler, and Swedish people are scared shitless of a Russian invasion. In fact, it's often used as an argument for membership in NATO. And all I can think is how ridiculous the Swedish people are. What makes you think that Vladimir Putin would want a nation of pussies? A nation consisting of radical feminists, neutered men, 200 ghettos, no-go zones where the fire trucks and ambulances are showered with rocks by angry criminals as soon as they drive in to help the local population. A nation that spends hundreds of millions in tax money on gender studies. A nation that's ready to kick out a Swedish family to make room for migrants. A nation with a housing crisis so bad it's being considered for the Guinness Book of World Records. And yet they let people who don't even have Swedish citizenships ahead in the waiting line. And then they tell us that we shouldn't put people up against each other because that's racist and equality is important. If Russians wanted to invade us, they could just go through the migration board like everybody else. This is a nation controlled by a journalist elite that's indoctrinating the population with cultural relativism and ethnic self-hatred. Simultaneously, Sweden has a huge state debt and Swedes have some of the highest private loans in the entire world. Put simply, the renovation necessary. Put simply, the renovation necessary would have been huge, far more than what's worth it. And it just goes to show how ridiculous Swedish people are, who think that they're so special and desirable. You pat yourself on the back as a humanitarian superforce of the world and delude yourself into believing that you stand out. Delude yourself that your country is so much better than everyone else's with your solidarity and high living standard, when the rest of the world is laughing at you. Who would want to invade a joke? Sweden prides itself on being humanitarian when it can't even take care of its own people. The longest hospital waiting lines in Europe. You can't even schedule an appointment with a psychologist in some of the biggest cities. You gotta wait three months just to get an appointment with a doctor. And what does Sweden do? They do a three million investment on circumcisions. Why does everything in Sweden revolve around Muslim dick? The second highest amount of drug-related deaths in Europe. People who grow weed get punished harder than people who rape kids. Nearly one quarter of a million senior citizens are living below the poverty line and after our so-called socialist prime minister went through with his intended budget, those senior citizens who were already poor became even poorer. Also, the city of Gothenburg has exported more ISIS jihadists than all of America. And during all of this decline for the past years, the biggest concern of the Swedish people has been to not be labeled as a racist. Oh, and now Russia. Ooh, Russia. You think Russia are the bad guys? Last time I checked, Russia wasn't destabilizing the Middle East with their foreign policy. Russia didn't turn ISIS into a force to be reckoned with by funding them and giving them weapons. Within just a matter of weeks of that Syrian general making his plea for international help, the US, the Saudis, Jordan, Qatar, Turkey, and Israel began providing weapons and training and money to the so-called rebel Free Syrian Army. By September of 2013, American media outlets, including CNN and the Washington Post, were reporting that CIA-funded weapons had begun flowing to Syrian rebels. The weapons were not American-made, but funded and organized by the CIA. Weapons that the US insisted would be used by freedom fighters would be in less than one year in the hands of ISIS fighters. So where were these fighters coming from? Actually, from the Free Syrian Army, the group that John McCain insisted would help the US to overthrow Assad. ISIS was able to grow so fast because of all the US military equipment they were able to seize. Equipment that our military left in Iraq. Truckloads of Humvees, tanks and weaponry that instead of taking or destroying, the US government simply decided to leave behind. Even when the US government knew that ISIS fighters were capturing that equipment. Russia didn't contribute to the refugee crisis. So Russia isn't the reason why a shit ton of people are coming to Sweden right now. Before you start fearing Russia so much, why not spend a single thought on how much bullshit America has created for countries in the Middle East and Europe? And I'm not saying that Russia is some kind of innocent hero. I'm saying that the narrow one-way street perspective people have is ridiculous. Now look, 
I understand the whole talk about how Russia wants to take over Gotland so they can set up military bases and missile launch pads and control the entire area of the Baltic Sea because this would give them enormously effective strategic positions against America and NATO. Yeah, but... If Putin actually came here and met our fat mainstream media feminist Kakan Hermansson, he would jump on his horse and ride home immediately. It doesn't matter what the strategic military advantages are, it's not worth it, okay? You haven't been to Sweden, dude. Our feminists aren't a bunch of Eastern European hotties like those Femen babes. They're more like Triglipuff. If Putin actually came here and saw all the blue-haired feminists with their hipster glasses and armpit force, he would go, oh niet, projectile vomit, and swim back across the sea. But in all seriousness, is the fear of Russia really worth it to become America's bitch? All because people get paranoid and think that the only outcome of NATO membership is the so-called benefit of protection from big bad Russia. Joining NATO would mean that foreign military is allowed to operate on Swedish ground. Bases would be built here. Missile launch sites would be built. And Swedes would be forced to participate in wars that aren't our business. And if nuclear weapons are fired from Swedish soil, then it's going to be countered with nuclear attacks onto Swedish soil. NATO is America's private army used to further their imperialism. Why the fuck would we want anything to do with that?